Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Silly Crafting with Silly Baby. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Uh, today I'll be showing you something I've been working on, which is why I've kind of been away for a bit. <laughs> I'll be showing you today how to make stencils to make custom art like this for you. Um, I already finished it as you can see, uh, but I'll be showing you how I did this, how I made the stencil, um, especially with the dark background. So hopefully you guys like it and let's get started. For this project, you'll be needing some tracing paper, uh, some more to put your paint. Uh, this is actually a kit that I bought from Amazon. It comes with the brushes and these six bottles. But I did end up buying all these colors for about $40 from the Angelo's website. Uh, this one I did get separately also. I think it was like $10 from Amazon. So you'll be needing that and a cup for water. I think I picked these up at the dollar store. I'm not really sure where I got these, but you will need... A really thin brush, thinner the better. Also a pencil and a white pencil. First thing you need to do is decide what you want to work with. Um, I'm going to be using a coach wallet, which is just this little one. I have this extra piece of transfer paper here that I'm going to use. All you have to do is just hold it up against your wallet or whatever surface you're doing. And I crease it with my nail or you could just use a pencil or something. But this just gives you the basic size for your stencil here. So that looks about right. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything. It's just a stencil. Then you look online for whatever picture you want to do for that project. Um, my This is for my friend and she really likes Rick and Morty. So I selected this picture for her. <laughs> um, and from here, once you have the picture, you have your paper. And you just hold it right up against it. Right here. This is actually the perfect size that I want to do since my paper fits perfectly with the picture. Next step is just to get a piece of tape and tape it on so it doesn't move like that. Now you take a number two pencil and you just trace out the outlines. I have traced everything. Now you just gently remove your tape and ta-da, we have our stencil. Now that you have your stencil all done, the trick here is to flip it over and on the opposite side, retrace it. Now that we are done with our stencil here, uh, we have it traced on both sides. This background is really dark. I have to go in with it first and do a white background. First, we have to cut out around the entire outline. And now, I have cut out my stencil to the perfect shape. So we just place it where we want our design. And about right here is good. Tape helps to ensure that your pencil doesn't move too much. And now with a white pencil, go around the entire thing, just really lightly. We fill in the outline with a white layer of paint. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Our goal here is creating a background for the stencil that is light enough for the pencil to show through. So my first layer has dry and I'm just going in here with the second coat just to make sure that the stencil transfers on nicely. Okay, something like this. Once again, we're just going to wait for it to dry and then we can do our stencil. Now that we have our second layer done, we're going to go ahead and grab our stencil and line it up best we can. Something like this. Use tape to help the stencil not move too much. And now we go over it one more time with our pencil. And now it should be good. There we go. Now that we have our stencil all done, we can go in and start painting.
So I have a good base for the background. It's just about adding dark colors and stuff, but um, I have to go run some errands, so I'll be back with painting later, and I'll just probably show you the finished look. So I went ahead and did the background and the whole portal thing. <laughs> He goes through, I don't know, I'm sorry, I don't watch Rick and Morty, but I um, wanted to show you here, I actually got paint where I don't want to get paint and it dried so it doesn't wipe off. All you need is a cotton swab and your primer or acetone. Just dip in your cotton swab a little bit and just rub on top and you can see it comes off right away. There we go, nice and clean. To keep your picture all nice and protected, the last step here is adding your finisher and it's just doing a clear coat right on the top of it and then you'll be done. It is really important though that it is 100% dry so it doesn't smear, make sure that you let it sit for a while. And this is like a milky um, consistency, it's not really paint. So just make sure that you brush on a nice thin even coat. Just go in right over your picture. Just like this one clear coat, that's all we need. And now just let it dry and we're all done. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, anything helps. I hope you guys enjoyed the video like I enjoyed making it. Please also head over to my Instagram, sillycrafting underscore, for a lot more shenanigans. But yeah, thank you so much.